The technology that we have developed at the EPFL is a very uh, innovative uh, technology. Basically, it's a, it's a revolution in the field of pipetting. For the very first time on a pipette tip, we have a tiny sensor at the end that can detect the passage of every single cell. One click, one cell. So the whole idea started from that. It was very easy, actually. I went to a supermarket and I bought these little things. And I told George, you know, this is a reservoir full of cells. And no, I want one cell out of this box. Okay. During my thesis at EPFL, I was working on impedance spectroscopy. It's a technique allowing for the single cell detection and analysis. And then we, we had this idea, genius idea of uh, developing a pipette. Uh, and then we, we basically looked at the technologies available that are small enough uh, and that can be miniaturized to be placed on a disposable pipette tip. Uh, we had this idea of using the so-called Coulter counter. The Coulter counter is a, is a very uh, old principle that was uh, invented in the 50s, and it's a very simple way of measuring a particle through a small uh, aperture. To make sure that uh, what you dispense in a well is actually a single cell. So the biggest challenge was really to be able to, to implement this, this cell sensor on, on a really cost-effective manner because we, we need to have it on a disposable uh, object because when you dispense single cell, you need to be sterile. So it means also that you need to be able to, to, to create your sensor on a disposable and sterile object. So random pipetting is traditional method to isolate cells. You just have to put one drop into each of the well, but because that's random method, you never know whether you put one cell, zero or more than one, and that's not acceptable. The uh, capability to uh, isolate single cells uh, is uh, becoming critical uh, in life science in many uh, diverse applications. Uh, we know today that uh, every single cell are different. So that's why now the, the biologists, the researchers, they need to go and isolate and study each of those cells one by one.